Hi Scrubs, hope you're well. So I'm going to be talking about the festivities and it's a new dynamic different to a lot of the great challenges that we've had in the past that just provided us with a lottery. So I'm going to be talking about the derby. So this derby started about five days ago and I'm going to talk about my experience of it and also just go through it in general. So how do I play? Until the 24th of July, enter and race in the derby to get flags to trade for the prizes of your choice. During a race, throw the ball as many times as you need in order to get the horse to the finish line. You can use bonuses to increase your chances of landing on holes with a higher value and getting your horse to progress faster. To get these, you can win competitions. You'll get six per win, but you can only do this twice per day. You can catch UFOs and you can ask your friends for help. So you get a maximum of six per, um, per day. So then we've got the jackpot. So throughout the festivities from the 19th of July to the 24th of July, you have the opportunity to win the Divine Horse uh, Crop Race. So in the Derby jackpot, I'm with the Horn of Plenty. So I decided after doing this a few times, which basically I'll, I'll do it just to show you. So you click start and then you've got four horses you could choose from. You can choose from Clover, Warrior, Champion and Lucky. So we're just going to go for Lucky this time and click start. So we throw it and the ball will land in one of these. So we got four. So we can throw again and see where it goes. So we've got four. Now what we can do then do is use bonuses, right? So the bonus plugs up the hole with the weakest value during a single throw. Collect them to increase your chances of winning the race. So in your inv inventory, I have seven. So if I use one, it'll clog up this one. That's a criticism that I have. The fact that it only, you know, covers one of them. I feel like it should have covered more, but that's just my opinion of that. So we'll throw again. We know it's, it can't go in number three, so it's gone in six. We've been quite lucky. Throw again. Got five. Got three. Nine. Six. Throw. I find this very tedious. I did this the first day that it came out, and very quickly I started to get really bored of this. And Yes, you can do an automatic race, but that isn't really expensive and not really realistic for most of us. So, throw that again. Throw again. And I'll throw again. Okay, so I won that one. So when you won, you got 15 flags. Now, if I got last place, which was fourth, you would get 12 flags. I thought that was pretty pathetic as a difference, that you would only get three flags worth of difference. So if I had used bonuses, just hypothetically, if I had used bonuses throughout that and guaranteed a win, I would have got three flags extra. And the bonuses exact, weren't exactly easy to come by. So we'll go and have a look. Well, actually, before we do that, so we've also got the automated races. So I'm going to do an automated race, even though it's going to cost me 50,000. So I got second place, 14 flags, but that cost me 50,000 to do. Now, you do get a certain amount of free races because you might be thinking, well, you could just do this over and over again, and you could, but there's there's um, a thing that happens when you do that. So we're just going to quickly talk about this. So every day of the festivities, each player has a specific number of races they can do for free, which was determined during the route challenge based off the number of horseshoes that the community collected. However, it is between at least once per day and four times per day at most. So I'm pretty sure I was one of the people that got it for four times per day at most, okay? To run more races, it will cost Aqua starting at 5 Aquas and increase each time to a maximum of 500,000 Aquas. Guess what? This fee resets each daily maintenance update. So with the flags, we'll go back to the festivities here. So the prizes themselves. So the prizes here, you can see. Now, I have enough um, flags to get some of these ones. And I haven't got enough to get any of these yet. So... Basically, to get Kropis, you would need 1,350 flags. Now, I did a bit of basic math the first day and just trying to work out how much Aquas it would cost, how many times I'd have to run the race and that, and I just started to think, oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> and then, because of that, I was like, oh, I know, I'll try getting it in Horns of Plenty. So, so many Horns of Plenty later, and yeah, needless to say, I did not get it, and I was not happy because it was passes I had saved up um, that I'd earned freely, so it was like, I've just basically thrown those all down the drain pretty instantaneously. Got a lot of apples and carrots, I was not remotely amused at all. So, so essentially, what was the best case scenario if you were trying to get Kropikas with just Aquas? So, to get Kropikas, you needed 1,350 flags, okay? Now, you had five days to do that. 
And if you needed to get enough flags per day, you were going to try and get 270 flags per day. Okay, that's how many you needed to be getting each day in order to reach that number. So, the best case scenario is that you got first in every single race, okay? And that would give you 15 flags. So, in order to get 270 flags per day, by getting first places, you were going to need to do 18 races per day. Now, from those 18 races, if you were one of the people who had got enough golden horseshoes, um, that you had got four free races per day, then you're only going to need to pay for 14 of those races, okay? So the price per race, so you then would have to do 14 of these paid for races. Now I'm ignoring the automated races, but what I did notice with the automated races is once you started to do these, it would add on that whatever price was here to the automated price. So I don't think it would have been any cheaper doing automated races, if I'm real honest. I think it would have been just as much. So the price per race. Um, you've got the first one's only going to cost you five echoes. Then it goes up by four every time, so it's then twenty, then it's eighty, then it's three hundred and twenty, and it goes on from there. But there was a cutoff point. So after the ninth race, it would no longer be these prices. It would be half a million every single time. Okay, and that's a lot better than a lot of these numbers over here. But anyway, so if you add up all of that to all of this. So per day, that's working out at 2,936,905 equus, okay, per day. Now, across the five days, that's going to work out at 14,684,525. So that would be the cost per the five days. I know that I couldn't have managed it because I didn't even have two million aquas, so I wouldn't have got past day one with that method. Now, as I said, that was the best case scenario that you had got enough golden horseshoes to get the four free races that you were getting first place every time, which we know really isn't going to happen. Uh, but that was the best case scenario. So I'm just going to talk a little bit generally about, I guess, my opinions of this. I sort of thought at first, I was like, oh, this is kind of neat. And then very, very quickly, I started to think, no, actually, this is really astronomically expensive and just feels impossible. And like 14 million aquas, okay, at a time, that to me wouldn't have been a lot, but it would have been something that had taken me a very long time to amass, you know? And now it's like 14 million. I don't have more 14 million. Um, I don't spend enough time doing this to have 14 million. I think the bonuses were really pointless. I think the number of flags for getting first place is just sickening compared to what you get for fourth place. Like, 12 for fourth and 15 for first. Why? What a difference, you know? And I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> In case anybody can't figure that out. Um, you know, I just, I don't know. I thought this was kind of disappointing. I'm just going to use bonuses, not for really any reason at all, to be honest. Five. So there we go, we got 14 flags for that. So this is what I meant about the automatic races. They got to a point where it starts to add on whatever is here. So I don't think it would have been any cheaper to do automated races. If anything, it's definitely going to be more expensive. And I don't think it's worth doing. That's my feeling on that. I did like the, you know, the gift and system that there was and the one to ask for friends I like that that at least was something had these been offered for passes I think I would have been disgusted because really there's absolutely no need because there's the difference that it makes it's like so tiny what's what would have been the point um, as for prizes you know I haven't even managed to do any of these now to be fair after the first day I was really sickened by this promo already. I was kind of like, it's expensive. Um, I tried opening Horns of Plenty. I don't know if anybody really at all has got Cropagus from Just Aquas. Because when I came on the first day, I was like, how many people have this? And the amount of people I saw that had it, I was like, every single one of them has used the Horn of Plenty um, offer that's been there to get that. Nobody will have spent the amount of money that it would have required to get it day one because it would have been so much more expensive had they just waited over the course of five days. 
and there was no benefit to getting it, you know, on the day one with Aquas. Um, you know, and so much of this just feels like I have spent so much Aquas on this already, just on the first day, that I was like, I wouldn't even be able to get, you know, let's just say if you'd spent half a million or more on day one, in the exchanges you could probably get Amorpheus Arms for 300,000, you know, um, so you're kind of just like, what's the point, you know, it, and I don't feel like a lot of these were even worth it, like the t two bottom rows, I would not be, you know, doing that, I think probably what I'm going to end up doing is using it on this, um, because I don't think I'm going to have much luck otherwise. I'm really just kind of sickened by the whole thing, if I'm real honest. Just purely because it's... It's not been fun. It's just extremely tedious and... I don't really like this. I was disappointed because it's just... I thought it was interesting at first when I first saw it and then eventually it just, it just went downhill so drastically. Um, I mean, I don't know have any of you done this with, you know, with using your Aquas, have you got the Divine? I would say probably more likely a lot of you have used the Hop Offer, which is something that I tried and I just didn't have any luck with um, at all. I just sort of thought, well, this isn't working, so we'll forget that. Um, so I don't know, but I would be interested to hear your thoughts on this so far. I know it's ending very soon. I had hoped to do a video on it sooner, but I just hadn't got the chance. And I think after day one, I got I just got so disinterested in this, I didn't actually log in to do the daily stuff because um, the last promo, I was on every single day doing everything that I needed to be doing. And for this one, I just was lost after first day. I was like, oh, this is sickening me already. I hope we get the lottery back. That's honestly how I feel because I don't think this was any kind of improvement at all. I think it was kind of pretty bad. Um, I mean, we could try and see if I can get enough of these to get another Horn of Plenty and we could open it and see how angry I get. We could do that. <laughs> Might be worth um, doing. Oh, I raised my eyebrows at that. Yeah, I think I'll just end so badly. Right, okay, we've got enough to get the Horn of Plenty now. Right, we're getting it, even though this is a stupid idea. So, right, we're going to go back to this. I'm going to do this. Horn of Plenty. Right, we'll go again then. And the free one. Yep, lo and behold, once again, I'm not remotely surprised. Use my 10 diamonds. Why not? Why not? There you go. Knew that was going to happen once again. I hate this. Ah. Worst promo ever. Okay, maybe not as bad as Tormenta. That was the worst promo ever. But this is one of the worst great challenge like in things I've ever seen. Terrific. Hate it. What a waste of time. So, yeah. So I've used quite a lot of hops that I've scraped either together from free passes or from diamonds and ones that I want in the hops and things and I've gotten nowhere for it and kind of got rubbish out of them as usual, which is always the case for me. So yeah, no stupid divine for me. That's all I'm going to say. That's my feelings on it. So... I would like to know what you guys thought of the festivities this time round. I hope this never comes back. This is one of the worst things I think they've done that way for a long time. And I am glad that no passes are involved in this part. But it's still not like remotely decent. It's like doing this 18 times would just get really boring. I get bored after doing it about twice, so... It's just not engaging for me at all. I don't really, I don't feel motivated. As I said, day one, I was like, oh, let's see what this is. And then I was like, I'm bored already. I'm done. I didn't come back. So, yeah, I wonder if I can get anything for my whole three flags. Oh, I can and get sand. Let's buy three sand. Oh, no, it wasn't even. Well, that, that was ridiculous. Oh, my God, does the, 
Oh, that's even dirtier of them. Look, the cost goes up by three every time you buy something. Nice horse. So nice of you. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Anyways, Grubs, I hope you had a long day. Bye!